It's Julia. I almost said from Julia tries everything. I don't do that anymore. We're retired. We're retired. We're so retired. We are in Key West, Florida. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Julia and Chelsea. And no, we are not in a New Jersey parking lot, shopping mall. We are not in Times Square. We are in Key West. The warmth, the sun. As you can clearly see by the spider webs, it's October here in Key West. And we are going to be doing a key lime pie tour. You want me to explain all the things we're about to try today? I thought it was key lime pie, yeah. key lime pie, key lime pie. <laughs> So we're doing a key lime pie walking tour today. We're gonna walk all around Key West and try every single type of key lime pie you can think of. So that's like mile high meringue key lime pie, vegan key lime pie, key lime pie on a stick dipped in chocolate, and no savory things whatsoever. So, I know. Before we start this walking tour, I do have to explain why we are starting this tour at this place called Curry Mansion Inn. If you're not from around here, it's not known for its curry. That's actually the name of the guy who used to live here. It's actually because this is the birthplace of the key lime pie, technically. If you ask people from Florida, they'll tell you one story. And then if you ask like real historians, they'll tell you another. We'll get into it, don't worry. But this is the birthplace of the original key lime pie made in the kitchens here. So we have to start here and then walk to our next place. Also, Chelsea is sleeping in the haunted part upstairs and I'm in the back of house sleeping. So it's been really fun. I've slept great. All right, I'm done talking. Let's go, let's go eat. Living la vida loca. We made it to Kermit's, which is at the historic seaport behind us. Look at it. Seaport. Yeah. See? 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 Seaport? See it? See it? As we started walking down the street, it started pouring on us. That's from the rain. That's not me slobbering already. Don't worry. That'll come later in the video. To our surprise, Kermit actually came today and made the pie for us, wearing the most incredible outfit I could ever have imagined. We got to actually watch him make this pie for us, so now we must try the key lime pie. I like the ratio. I mean, I always want more graham cracker, but this is a good ratio. Ooh, ooh! You can tell that he uses real key limes that are very tart, and he's using like key lime concentrate in there. So this packs a serious punch. But if you like really, really tart things, this is the key lime pie for you. I love tart things. I'm not a super sweets type person, which is why I love key lime pies. For the whipped cream on this, usually you do meringue. This is whipped cream. I love that there's the whipped cream because it is balancing the tartness of it. So it's just adding that like extra oomph if you need it. But for me, I don't need the whipped cream. I like how tart this is. We're gonna see a bunch of different graham cracker crusts today. Some of them are gonna be like really, really deep golden and baked and others are gonna be almost like in their raw form. Not that graham cracker crust can be raw because it's, it's just butter and graham cracker, but this is a much more like paler version of it. It's not dry and crumbly, which I actually prefer because I want the crumbly bits to go with the creaminess. I would say that this one's just um, really compact and like slightly like buttery wet in a way. Buttery wet crust. Wow. <laughs> Whatever, it's what, it's, it, I, I meant what I said. You okay, Billy? I just want to do the review standing here. This feels so good. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, Ronnie. If I was like, still six years old, I would want this above my bed. It is so cute. Or on top of my Christmas tree. Can I get um, a chocolate dipped pie bar? Also, this is, we weren't supposed to get this, but can, don't let her see. Can <laughs> I get a slice of the extra tart okay. cheesecake as well? I need to know it's extra tart. And that's it. Right. Thank you. <laughs> if you want to learn how to do self tanner, don't learn from me. But I have been doing it for like 15 years. I've just never gotten better at it. I'm consistently like failing at it at all times. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, we still went to. 
pure monster. <laughs> I think biting into ice cream is the devil's work. I have amazing teeth. They're white and pearly and beautiful, but they are sensitive as <laughs> So biting into this was very challenging. But that was the right amount of fudge in there. It's like super creamy. And I really don't think that like tart and chocolate things should go together. I don't think they mix well, but this does mix extremely well. And like, do you see how it's like sweating? It's almost sweating as much as I am. Like, I feel like we're kindred spirits. And this is decently tart. Like on a scale of zero to five of tartness, I'm gonna give this like a three and a half. Wow. Should we get the other one that's actually very tart? Yeah, let's go. Okay, I'll do that one. A spoon for you, a spoon for me, a spoon for thee. What we have here, is an extra tart key lime pie. I eat so much sour candy until it burns an actual almost whole or like I get like an ulcer. That's how sour I like things to be. So for me, I'm very excited about this. Also, another thing to note about key lime pies is that you're gonna think that they're green or there's lots of green around us and it's very pretty and it's like that really like almost like a chartreuse kind of like bright green. But key lime pie should not be bright green. If it's bright green, they're probably putting food dye in it and like maybe using the wrong limes. A real key lime pie is gonna be kind of on the paler side and even maybe a little bit yellow instead of green. Enough talking. Ooh, also these, they serve them frozen. So it's kind of like melty. You know what's great about today? Everything I eat, Nothing's gonna get, like I'm not gonna get anything stuck in my teeth. So Chelsea doesn't even have to not tell me that there's something in my teeth. Still gonna zoom in. That's fine. You can zoom in on my teeth because there's nothing gonna be in them today. For an extra tart, I don't think this is extra tart. It's almost, I would almost wanna fact check this is the, not the regular. Don't get me wrong, it's delicious. But if you're gonna call something extra tart, I wanna be like puckering and like my tongue dry out and like shrivel and be like, this is not doing that. Now, I've had this one before with my mom, and we loved it. And we tried to get one to split, and then we ended up having to buy another one. And I'm going to say the same thing I said as before. You can't split this. You're going to get one. You're going to eat the whole thing, and it's going to be delicious. Highly recommend. Don't I just again. Don't. No. No. <laughs> we, can, we can end the video now. We can end the video now. She's a hefty boy. Yeah. We're <laughs> we are at First Flight Island Brewery, which is actually the birthplace of Pan Am. The first tickets sold for Pan Am are here. We're here for the Key Lime Pie, but they're also a brewery. So I felt like it's kind of weird to not talk about the beer in a brewery. So I got Chelsea something very special. <gasps> Chelsea loves red ale. I do. Here, wait, let me get the cans. These are their like their original beers. So I had to get those. I didn't want you to know. I wanted you to have an actual surprise. Aww. So that you love red ales, and this is their first beer that they started brewing here. Wow. So I feel like you have to try it. You do. Like, look how yeah. pretty that is. Isn't it pretty? The can looks very Key West to me. Like, this doesn't count as part of the tour at all, but this is like Chelsea's tour. Chelsea's on her own separate journey. Is it an all day drinking beer? All day, all night, baby. All day, all night? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, Zzz. I'm gonna try it. Probably pairs perfectly with some key lime pie. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> what you're seeing here that is gonna feel a little bit different than what we're used to seeing is chocolate. We have chocolate sauce on here and a chocolate and Oreo crust. Do you think that chocolate mixes with other things like this? I... Oh, skeptical? I, I'm skeptical, yes. Okay. Oh, oh, she's dense. She's dense. Oh my gosh, oh. The reason the chocolate works with this is because the key lime is very subtle. This one is much more creamy, like sweetened condensed milk with the egg yolk more flavor than the key lime pie which is I think how the Oreo isn't distracting. But let me try just the crust part. Crust girls only over here. 
It's super subtle. The Oreo crust is very, very thin. Like it's almost like a dusting or like a sprinkling of it on there. The chocolate sauce is really what's gonna give you more of that chocolate flavor than the crust itself. I would say that this is probably on our, if we were doing a tart meter for the day, like five being the most tart puckering and zero being on the sweetest side, this is gonna be on the sweetest side. I would say that this one, if you like the idea of key lime pie, but having something really tart is not your thing. Like a lot of people do not like tart things, which boggles my mind. But if you want something creamy and sweet, this is the one for you. That one's yours, you can have that one. I'll get my own. <laughs> We are here at Blue Heaven, or Haven as I like to say. I've actually been here with my mom before and we came here for brunch. It was packed. They had live music playing and it was like 10 a.m. and we ordered a key lime pie because we had to. They're known for a mile high meringue, which the meringue is almost the, the size of my face. We actually got to see Teresa, AKA T, make it in the back and it was, it was an art form. When T is making these key lime pies in the back, she's just flowing. She's been doing this for over 25 years here at Blue Heaven. Okay, you want me to just? I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry if this is gross to people, but whatever. Look, the spongy. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, wait, I wanna get the top part too. The top part's a little chewy. Like, um, you know the packing peanuts? The top has that kind of spongy bite to it, like a packing peanut. But the key lime pie itself is just the right amount of creamy and tart. I mean, how many times can I say creamy and tart in one video? But I will say that this just has the right balance if you're someone who's a little afraid of key lime pie in the sense of you're not super into the really sour, tart things, I think this one's a good balance of that sweet, creamy, and the tart, and there's so much meringue that if it was a little too sour for you, just add like a bucket of meringue to it. My favorite part is obviously the crust because it's buttery, it's salty, it's gritty, all the things I love. Old get you a fork. Yay. I just want a bag of the crust here. I'm giving you double crust. This is how you should really have it. This double crust means friendship. That, yeah, giving you that much crust. Oh my God. The crust. The crust. I, like, I know that this is the pretty part of it, but the crust, the backside, the backside, she's doing something. She's been putting an extra work at the gym. One thing to note about being in Key West, you're gonna see throughout the video, roosters everywhere. They're also protected, so they're, they're overpopulated for sure, and you're not allowed to hurt them or do anything to them. So they just live the best life possible. It's like roosters and cats, they, they own Key West. We are just visiting. They're about to start playing music, so I think that's our cue to go. So we're gonna go to our next spot. Ready? Okay, bye. Chelsea, Chelsea, we have to go. I'm, I'm, we're literally behind schedule, we have to go. As we are walking and talking, I'm gonna walk very slowly backwards and Chelsea's gonna tell me if I run into anyone. We are in Key West and a lot of people think that the key lime pie came from Key West. That's what people love to say, right? But that might not be the full truth, unfortunately. So, I'll have to say, Stella Parks, AKA Brave Tart, in her cookbook, she's an amazing baker if you've never followed her before. Stella Parks, she's researching for her cookbook and she finds out that it might have been Borden 
the sweetened condensed milk company that made it as kind of like propaganda to use more sweetened condensed milk. That might unfortunately be the real truth, but then there's also a really fun like Florida truth that I like a little bit better that I'll share with you guys in a little bit. Okay, we have to go into Moondog. They make the most incredible pastries. We've actually, might have already had some while we've been here. They're so good. But we're obviously here for something very special. So now we're at Moondog, which does vegan key lime pie. So we're not gonna see mile high meringue here. We're actually gonna have aquafaba meringue, which is really like it, if I didn't tell you right now that this was vegan, I don't know if you would have guessed that. Enough talking, let's get into it. You want me to do a little, mm -hmm. oh, let me do a little, oh, wait. <laughs> I'm not strong enough. Oh my gosh, wait, this is so cute. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, is that the tiniest, most adorable? It's so cute. Key lime pie slice I've ever seen. It's a mini blue heaven slice. Yeah. Okay, let's see, aquafaba. That is a toasted marshmallow. That is really impressive. If you haven't had aquafaba before, you usually get it on like vegan cocktails. And it's just from like chickpeas, you know, the little remnants of chickpea in the bottom of your can. You just take that and you can add sugar and things to it to really give it more of a stiffer peak. But yeah, use your, don't throw away your chickpeas. Okay. Because you can turn it into, wow. <laughs> and the crust is a lot thicker. It almost reminds me of like a shortbread crust versus a graham cracker crust. But the key lime in here is super potent. It like packs a really good punch. I just want the key lime on its own because they make their own key lime concentrate mix here. This is as close as I've come so far for a pucker. Like Kermit's was had a decent pucker to it. So does this one. Don't worry. Even though I'm not doing Julia tries anymore, we still do fun facts. So fun fact time. So the difference between key limes and regular limes, one is obviously the size. That's the first thing you're gonna see. These are super tiny. They're probably like half the size of a regular lime. Regular limes that you're, again, used to seeing are called Persian limes. These are key limes. What makes them different also is the color. They are gonna have a little bit more of this yellow hue to them than a green hue, which is again, like when you think of key lime pie, it like it matches my eyeliner. Like it's much more yellowy. Thank you. And another thing about this is that they have a thinner skin, so they're much more perishable, which makes them really, really hard to like import and export out of different countries. They are much more aromatic and they have much more of a punch to them. Do you think I'm allowed to take one with me in my pocket? Sure. In my pocket? Go ahead. Is it stealing? No. I'll tell them. I'll tell them that I'm taking one with me. Hello. Hi. Can I get a slice of your key lime pie, please? Of course. I'll grab it for you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. We got the outfit memo. See this? It's cute. We are at Old Town Bakery, and we have the most beautiful key lime pie with a dark crust. We haven't seen this dark of a crust, really. I'm very impressed. Also, this is not meringue, this is whipped cream. Now, I think this was Kermit's that did the same. And I'm like, I can't decide how I feel about that. Let's taste it before I say more. Oh. <laughs> Don't chop the pie. The crust is a hearty, sturdy girl. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? 
this is the perfect balance of tart. I, I was about to go in on them using whipped cream, but it has the right amount of punch. That little, It has a little bit of a pucker on the tip of your tongue. The whipped cream on this really does help mellow out the tartness and the crust. It's like ever so slightly toasted, like not burnt, but toasted. So it has this like really lovely warmth to it. It also kind of reminds me of like a graham crack, uh, not graham cracker, a uh, gingerbread. It looks like a gingerbread crust. You see that kind of here? Every time I want to talk to you guys, I then put a huge thing of key lime pie in my mouth. One day I will learn. Okay. I was not done with my key lime pie history. I said that there was more to the story. It's kind of like a key lime pie conspiracy of sorts. I told you about how the Borden sweetened condensed milk, that was one story, one side to the story. And then there's the other story. This story is much more fascinating to me and therefore I believe this one is the true one. There used to be people called spongers. It's basically like a man going out to sea, some, maybe women too, but back in those days it was probably just men. And they would go out to sea and they would like collect all these sponges and then you would use them for like sponging. I don't know what you asked. I'm sorry, I, don't, I didn't look up that part of the story. When they would go out to sea, they would bring key limes with them. Here's the one from my pocket from earlier. <laughs> they would bring key limes with them out into the boats with them, into their ships, because they didn't want to get scurvy, because scurvy was like a real thing back then. And they would, the, the claim is, is that they would have like bread and they would put eggs and sweetened condensed milk and the limes in it and let it cook under the sun and it would somehow turn into like a poor man's key lime pie of sorts. William Curry, remember we started the Curry Mansion, that really like spooky fun mansion? There was a chef there, Aunt Sally or Sarah, which also confuses me. Why is it Aunt Sally or Sarah? I think it's Aunt Sally. Aunt Sally heard about this. One of the spongers told her about it and she was like, I'm gonna make this for real. And she made it in the William Curry Mansion and made an actual key lime pie with a graham cracker crust. That's a story that most people like to believe because doesn't it sound better hearing like pirate ships making their like, so they don't get scurvy, they use key limes. Like that sounds way more interesting than like the Borden sweetened condensed milk people made a propaganda story with a fake chef lady with an advertising agency. That sounds boring and honestly that's probably the truth though because like the history of things is actually much more bleak than you expect it to be but anyways. Go eat your pie. Okay. Ah, I'm baking like a key lime pie. Ready for our last spot mm -hmm. on our key lime pie tour? I can't believe they let me take one of these. You want me to tell you a fun fact while we're walking? Sure. Okay fun fact. Um, Key lime pies have not grown commercially in the U.S. since 1926 because of the hurricanes. So if you get key limes while you're in Key West, that's pretty, like, not rare, but you can't buy a key lime from Key West in your grocery store if you live in, like, California, most likely. It's pretty hard to get. I'll walk this way. Oh, do you hear the roosters? I love them. Our final location of our key lime pie tour and we are ending on something a little funky I promised we weren't gonna do just key lime pie and this key lime pie French toast from Azor is really really like impressive and I think a really cool unique way to end this you might think this is all French toast but no it's French toast then you get a key lime pie slice French toast French toast key lime pie French toast and they make the key lime pie on a sheet tray so it's like a little bit thinner than maybe your traditional key lime pie, but oh my goodness, 
I'm just so excited. Okay. <laughs> this is a dessert for breakfast. And I, my brain is ever so slightly confused because it's mixing something that's very delicate and sweet like French toast with something that's very tart and rich and dense. And they're making this like, it's how we describe ourselves, how you and I describe each other. Like we balance each other out, you well, know? Which one am I? Which one do you want to be? You know what? That's not answering the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a little sauce dab for you. Let me see if I can make another beautiful pop. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry. You're, wait. Can we show this? Yeah. I, this I, is, I was trying to make Chelsea a really nice bite, and this is what I did, and then this is what I did for myself. Wow. So you're basically telling me <laughs> But this is gonna taste better because it has more of the sauce here. But you know what I'm saying, how it balances? I am the key lime. You are the key lime. Okay, not the tartest one we've had today. This one I think is gonna be like, on this on the sour scale that we've been talking about from zero to five i'm going to say this is a 2.5 on the sour scale so if if you like a sweeter one i think this is going to be the one for you also this one's extremely creamy like i would it almost reminds me of like you know when you have butter sit out at room temperature for a bit do you see that it's extremely like what's the right word what's it i want to say squishy Softened. Yeah, like it's really soft. It's like a really soft key lime pie. It's like a melted stick of butter, but with lime in it. <laughs> There's so much key lime in here. There, the amount of acidity, <laughs> the, I've probably consumed an entire can of sweetened condensed milk today. <laughs> when I think about it, I also, I gave my key lime, can we show this? I gave him a face. I haven't named him, but he could also just... Wait, tilt him down. This way? Oh, there he is. This is key lime, this is Bert, key Bert. Um, him and I are just gonna walk around Key West together. Honestly, it's really hot out, and I really wanna go for a swim, but I do feel like there's a lot of key lime pie in me, so we might do a little walk walk it off, look at some ghosts. Like that. Can you see the ghost? No, just a skeleton. Well, maybe we'll switch over to some like key lime shots, switch into a happy hour mode. Oh, no. um, Bert and I are gonna say goodbye. And don't forget, you gotta like it, you gotta comment, you gotta subscribe, etc., etc., etc. Um, I'm gonna go now. Carry on my wayward bird. Don't you, I don't know the words after that.